Thank you for making the time and give me an opportunity to share with you right, on the changes and trend that's taking place in the facility management space. So my name is Chris and I'm leading the 5G solution business development team within StarHub to help organizations to strategize and implement their digital transformation roadmap. So before we start, um, I would just like to share with you my gardening experience. It started with a vision to create a flower garden at the front yard. And the first task is to clear the ground, like removing the stumps, loosening the soil, removing the weeds and rocks, and etc. Well, thinking that it's very straightforward, I just jump straight in you know, and start. But only to learn that there are many things that I did not know until I get my hands dirty, literally. Roots are really stubborn, and it takes more than one tool to remove them, as you can see from the picture here. There are hidden rocks underneath the earth, which I have to be very careful about so as not to break my own tool and my own arms. Different tools are required for different purposes. There's no one single magic tool that does it everything. And I have to purchase um, tools right on an ad hoc basis and that undermines my progress. Eventually, I completed my task in a few weeks when it was only planned for only a few days. Um, and what did I achieve besides a green garden slate, you know? Blisters on my hands, a sore back, muscle aches, and maybe spend extra money right, on tools which I doubt I will use anymore. And the worst thing is I have to wait for months to see if all my effort pays off. So why did I share this story? Well, because facilities management right, is like my original garden state. And to breathe new life to it, it takes more than a vision and just a just do it spirit to revolutionize it. Existing processes and challenges needs to be reviewed and resolved using new methods. Hence, it's really important to know what are the right tools, when and how to use them to make an impact. It shouldn't be like my garden that after exceeding the budget and putting in the extra effort, um, you know, I can only cross my fingers hoping that the flowers will bloom in the future. So let's talk about 5G. 5G is being touted as the technology, right, that will forever redefine possibilities. So while 5G supersedes 4G, it isn't just faster, it's ultra fast. And apart from speed, 5G is more capable than 4G due to lower latency, higher device density, and hence bringing futuristic technologies to life. And this coupled with IoT, 5G will cut pop the next wave of technology. And this technology right, will be applied in multiple sectors in the space of IT application, autonomous vehicles, and smart building. As you can see from this diagram, we have smart parking, connected house, it can be applied to security and surveillance, entertainment, and etc. So let's examine how 5G, IoT, and other technology creates smart facilities management and why are their key objectives. I have categorized them into four broad categories. Sustainability goals. To support the Singapore Green Plan 2030 and aiming to become a super low energy building with well-defined optimization strategies using IoT to effectively measure and manage energy, water, and waste. Operations and maintenance. Monitoring the functionality of equipment and appliances more accurately through analytics and 3D visualization. Predictive maintenance is performed based on the collected data and AI models. Safety and security. Enforce security round the clock through video analytics and using remote surveillance for quick response to incidents. Guests will use 3D wayfinding to be guided to their designated locations only and avoiding, avoiding restricted areas within the premises. Occupant comfort. Achieve a conducive environment and thermal comfort for occupants without human intervention by using sensors and AI to monitor and adjust the appliances automatically. Okay, so now how do we go about in achieving these objectives? Let me take you through the process broadly. To achieve the sustainability goals, first we have to collect the energy data or rather the data right, uh, from energy, water, and waste through our IoT sensors. And this data will be processed through data analytics and AI models. And outcome 
is generated for review. And subsequently, right, after the review, then um, the respective personnel can implement the respective strategies at the right place at the right time. And then it goes through the same cycle again to make sure that your strategy works and fine tune it along the way. Operations and maintenance, there's generally two categories, corrective and preventive. So for corrective, right, we're talking about the workflow digitalization. We are, uh, in terms of the monitoring, right, um, well, monitoring the, the appliances when it's, there's an issue, alerts are triggered. And then subsequently, the alerts, right, is sent to the respective personnel. And this will trigger them to take action. And this fault status, right, can be recorded and updated and tracked within the workflow digital app. For preventive, right, it's more like the M&E function. So similarly, it's talking about the collection of equipment data. The data will again go through a series of business intelligence processes. And from then, all the outcomes will notify the FM team to inform them that, you know, for certain equipment, uh, they require uh, to do maintenance earlier or maybe even later so that we can achieve a timely maintenance um, timeline that's being done. Next is the safety and security. So uh, we use video monitoring to detect uh, incidents and we apply the video analytics right, um, engine right, to identify any potential threats. And once things are identified, alerts are being triggered to inform the security personnel and they are able to respond quickly to perform um, inspection and investigations remotely. Last but not least, we are talking about the occupant's comfort. So again, we are talking about collecting the data from surrounding the environment based on sensors that detect temperature, lighting, or air condition, uh, occupancy, and etc. And again, this data is being processed right through uh, AI models that is used to determine right, the optimum comfort based on the predefined indicators. And once the outcome uh, process, the results is processed, instructions right, will be sent to the various sensors to adjust the settings automatically. And again, it's going to be a cyclic uh, activities that is going to be monitored and adjust accordingly. For the next few slides, right, uh, let me just take you through the use cases that we have worked with our customers in achieving these objectives. Smart energy management. So um, they wanted to have up-to-date energy consumption data to identify and prioritize right, uh, the key areas in the optimization strategy. So what we have done is we have deployed smart energy meters and manage it through our StarHub 5G IoT platform. And the data is transmitted securely using our M2M SIM cards. And this data right, is being processed and visualized on StarHub's IoT platform. The dashboards will be able to display the necessary trends and any corrective actions to be taken. So analytics is also done on the collected data to create the necessary insights. And benchmark is also set up in the platform to alert the respective personnel if, there's an, if it exceeds that. So, and what's the result? We achieve the 80% reduction of man hours used for manual data collection. There's a 70% increase of the data accuracy due to the more frequent data collection. And it has also a significant impact, right? A 50% improvement for faster turnaround time in updating the optimization strategy. Next, predictive maintenance using digital twin. They wanted to reduce the number of faults and operations downtime caused by faulty equipment. So what we have done is we have created a 3D visualization uh, for each floor with our ecosystem partners. The data is ingested right from the existing systems by API and Excel into our startups data platform to be cataloged, virtualized, and interface to the 3D model. And user will be able to interact right with these 3D models uh, within our platform to review and monitor the status, the functionality of the equipment and the appliances. And predictive analytics, right, uh, is being done using AI. It's being performed, right, on this selected uh, more mission-critical equipment. And they will be highlighted, right, within the 3D model 
so that they, are, they know when is the forecasted maintenance date. And from here, we also have a 25% reduction in the number of reported faults, 60% reduction in the number of faults caused by faulty equipment, 20% increased efficiency in identifying issues, and 30% increase in the customer satisfaction. For premise and parameter security, there's a diminishing workforce and that resulted right, in gaps that may lead to security lapses within the premises. So what we have done is we have deployed a high res CCTV with NIN and along the parameter of the premises to augment the existing security staff. This video feed right, is being sent to our MEC to identify potential security breaches right, uh, using video analytics. Alerts will be sent to the security team on site and off-site via the Smart Workforce mobile app that is developed by us. And all these video feeds right, are then subsequently stored and archived on the cloud to enable remote access and retrieval for future investigation purposes. We achieve a 35% improvement in terms of the response time on the security issues. There's a tighter security enforced as surveillance is now being able to perform 24 by seven. And we also enable the staff to monitor remotely, right? Even when they are not, oh sorry, or rather I should say, even when they are patrolling on the ground, on the move. Indoor air quality, um, this can be applied to indoor, can be applied to outdoor, but over here we're just talking about indoor at this point in time. Um, there's a rising concerns, right, um, from occupants on the indoor air quality IAQ as they spend a large amount of time, right, uh, in the office space at so what we have done is we have actually um, deployed air quality sensors at strategic locations right, within the buildings to detect the air quality parameters like CO2, PM2.5, humidity, and et cetera. So this data is again sent to our IoT platform through our startup secure network. The dashboards in our platform are used to visualize right, the data for monitoring the IAQ in the building and also to manage the air quality sensors to make sure that they are functioning in, and they are working as per what is expected. When the air quality right, at a certain location reaches a certain threshold, the platform will automatically send signals to the respective sensors to initiate the air purification process so that they are able to maintain right, a high indoor air quality. So IAQ in a building uh, as a result right, is being maintained with a high standard and that is with a minimal human intervention. The occupants are made more aware of the environment um, through the various IAQ indicators that's um, shown to them. And occupants have feedback that there is a reduction in staff absenteeism and illnesses. So before we wrap up, I just want to have one final note from here. We always start with a transformation with a vision in mind, and it really takes time right, to realize it. Sometimes the effort pays off, sometimes it doesn't. And we may need to do trial and error, right, to finally get the desired results. I wish I had engaged an expert for my garden at the beginning to set the expectations right, impart the necessary knowledge to me, and work through the foundation work together with me. So that I am confident, right, of the outcome, knowing that I have leaped a hundred steps closer to my vision, even though it's not going to be a walk in the park at the end of the day. Thank you for your time today, and I'm happy to share more and discuss further regarding about Smart FM. So please connect with us uh, via the following methods on this slide. And thank you.